and we are live. Good to see you guys. Happy Thursday morning. It's 10.07, and uh, we already got started with some praying with our pastor and elder team, and uh, so we've already had a, a good a good time so far this morning. Uh, with us live right now is our uh, our new associate pastor and youth pastor, uh, Corey Mix, is on. What's well, Good to see you, Corey. Uh, we also got uh, Grant Bernal. He's part of our elder team at SRC. Good to see you. Good morning, Grant. Awesome, awesome. We also have, uh, sorry, I'm just going through these introductions really quick and then we'll we'll dive in. We also have my mom, uh, Debbie Webb. She's one of part of our elder team. Um, and her gorgeous husband, uh, who's in the other room, uh, Keith Webb. Good to see you, Pastor Keith. Uh, and we also have Pastor Sandy, part of our pastoral and elder team. Uh, we have Pastor Gail, one of our care pastors. Uh, good to see you, Gail. And uh, Pastor Anthony Revisto on here. Good to see you, Anthony. And um, this is going to be, these prayer times have been really neat. The, uh, they've been really good. And um, as you're jumping on, uh, we, we'll be engaging with the comments. So feel free to leave lots of comments. You can, uh, you can put prayers in the comments there. You can also put prayer requests um, because we would love to be praying for you um, as well. Um, you know, guys, I kind of thought well, where we could start today in the place of prayer is, you know, every day in the headlines, we just keep seeing all these negative um, headlines. You know, one that came up today was uh, 10 million people have filed for unemployment in the last two weeks. And, you know, rather than praying in for the unemployment, which we can do and we certainly should do, I was actually thinking that the Lord was speaking to me about how this is really a time of recalibrating. And uh, we've had that word at SRC at our place. That word has been coming up in a place of prayer for months now. But um, but sometimes when we get negative news, we think that that negative news is going to affect us negatively. But sometimes um, sometimes negative facts can uh, help us recalibrate and bring us into a place where God has been calling us, perhaps for quite some time. And so it's, this really is, there's a, the, a word about resetting right now, about refocusing right now, a word about recalibrating. And so I actually thought, well, let, maybe we could start there. We could begin in a place of prayer um, and really just believe that, um, uh, that in this time, that people are going to uh, uh, have eyes to see, ears to hear, and the courage to really obey knowing that this could be an incredible time of, of promotion and acceleration, even if it's not right now, this very second, the decisions that we're making and the revelation that we're getting could really position us uh, for some incredible uh, uh, breakthrough in the days to come. So if that sounds like a good place to start, uh, I'll just kind of open up in prayer and then we'll just, we'll just take off. So, Father, I just thank you so much for each and every person that's watching this broadcast. So we, Lord, we also just thank you, Father, for Seattle Revival Center, God, and the uh, and just the incredible people that we're getting to do life with um, here in Seattle. And I know that there are so many people that are being impacted negatively by losing jobs and and losing uh, opportunities. But Lord, we we just begin this morning by praying for your perspective. And we just declare that this is a season of recalibration, of refocusing, of a, of a resetting, of a reprioritizing of values, of, of an opportunity to go back and to hear um, uh, what you've been saying for quite some time. I, I, Lord, I, I, would, I believe that you've been actually preparing us for this season for quite some time now. And Lord, in the same way that, uh, that soldiers go off to boot camp and they train and they train and they train for when they, for when they go to battle. Lord, I pray, Lord, that you would bring our training back to mind, that we'd be able to recall our training, that we'd be able to recall key scripture verses, that Holy Spirit, that in this season, that you would allow us to have, that we would be so vigilant and on guard, not paranoid, but prepared and ready to pounce on every divine opportunity that you are bringing our way. And we just declare recalibration, a refocusing, a resetting, a reprioritizing, uh, that, that, that this would be such a pivotal season for us as a people, as a kingdom people, that, uh, that as, soon as, as soon as this season shifts and changes, and we get to come out from uh, from this this time, Lord. That 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 we will be we will be ready to ride. A we will be so prepared 
to run and to run hard and to run with a new efficiency like never before because of how we have utilized and stewarded this this season right now. And so, Lord, we thank you, Lord, for eyes to see, ears to hear, and a grace to recalibrate in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Let's go. Uh, Anthony, why don't you just tag in, bud? Yeah, God, we thank you for your uh, your resetting and your realigning in this time, Lord. We thank you, God, for... Uh, oh, bud, you turn, your, uh, close, turn your camera around. <laughs> Sorry. We thank you for uh, my window and my garden. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> thank you, Jesus. So hey. Hey, here we go. All right. Perfect. Awesome. And look at my gardening. <laughs> hey, Lord, we thank you, God, for uh, for laughter and joy, Lord. We thank you, God. Uh, we just thank you for the pliability of your body, Lord, that, that you're loosening us up to uh, be ready to run, to be ready to sprint, to be ready to receive and cooperate with everything that you're doing. Lord, we thank you, God, for... Um, for fixing our focus on you, God, that when we fix our eyes on you, our whole being is full of light, God. It says that when we have one focus, when our when our eyes are fixed on you, Lord. So we just thank you, God, that you're doing that for the whole body, Lord. You're doing that for the whole body of Christ, God, that you are you are calling us into one focus, which is fixing our eyes on you, drawing from you, pulling from you. Lord, we thank you for impossibilities because impossibilities are opportunities for you to be the only one that gets the glory, God. So we just thank you, God, for um, for uh, for the immovable things right now, Lord, that um, that need uh, your God solutions, Lord. So we just we thank you and we boast in you, Father. We boast in your strategies. We boast in the fact that you have the answers, God. That every mystery is given to your children, Lord. So we just thank you that we are your children. We thank you for your children all around the earth, God, that uh, that there would be such a rumbling together, uh, that there would be such a unity, such a, a stirring to one voice, God, that, that it would startle the earth, God, that it would shake things and that it would, uh, that would establish new heavenly plans and strategies, God, um, around, around the planet, that people would look to you in awe and say, wow, that could only be the glory of the Lord. Yeah, so we just thank you, Father. Yeah. Lord, we thank you for the recalibration that's going on in our families, Lord, and the families of our people, that, that Lord, you're helping us to reprioritize uh, what is most important. Lord, most of that is just our intimacy with you and, and Lord, running hard after you and our family. So, Lord, I pray for wisdom uh, for our heads of the family, for our moms and dads, uh, as they recalibrate their fa family, as they're home with them all day long, Lord, you can see little things that need to be adjusted. So, Lord, I pray for the wisdom of God and the families of our people today as they recalibrate, as they reprioritize uh, uh, their, uh, their influence in their home and, and uh, in their family members. And, Lord, we pray that this would just be a time where not only would we be reprioritizing our time in our home, but our time with our other family and outside members, Lord, that we're connecting with them as well and uh, giving them the good news that Jesus uh, is right in the middle of this thing and that he has control over it all and it's his fire that will eventually consume this thing in Jesus' name. Yeah. And Father, um, I thank you for Psalm 91 and that we're memorizing it as a church. And I, I just pray that that would be such encouragement. Oops, I'm closing my eyes. Such encouragement over everyone that's that's really meditating on that scripture. And Lord, I thank you that you're saying if we dwell in that secret place, that we have all these benefits. And Lord, I thank you that you're saying if we set our hearts on you and our love on you, that you will you will take care of us. And Lord, help us to know what that means. Help us to know in a deeper level than we've ever known what it is to yes. dwell in you, Lord, not just dwelling in spiritual things, quote unquote, but 
dwelling in you in everyday things, every relationship, every decision. Lord, work things. Lord, you want to dwell in all those things. You want to be a part of every part of our life. So help us, Lord, to really understand that, that we're not going to divide you up and say you're you're welcome to speak into this part, but not that part. Father, have our whole hearts, Father. Just have our whole hearts. I thank you in Jesus' name. One thing I'd like to share is uh, before praying is is uh, Linda and I were talking yesterday about just this season we're in, and it seems like some days are harder than others as we try to process through this. And um, especially yesterday, you know, Linda was just mentioning, "Boy, I just felt somewhat down," and uh, and I and then. Uh, Usually we don't like to commiserate with with the negative, but I was like, uh, well, yeah, today was like a struggle just to, to get up. And so so the word that comes to mind is just to stir up the gift that's been deposited in us and um, and also to be vigilant and aware of just the enemy's tactics to try to get us down. And and so, Lord, we just thank you so much for your strength in us for the gifts in us and and for your promises in us and and we repent of uh and and i i just speak this over myself as well just repenting of looking at the negative news too much rather than looking up at at the good news the good news network uh Lord, thank you for your good news. It just doesn't change. And so I, I just speak out to all of us that there is a, a lifting of our arms and a lifting of our spirit and our soul during this time that, that we just we just go places that we haven't gone before. And we we enjoy this time and come out of this time just power packed in Jesus name. Good. Hey guys, I've got Ephesians 3.17 says, then by constantly using your faith, the life of Christ will be released deep inside of you and the resting place of his love will be very sore and root of your life. And then my wife texted me this morning, Isaiah 41, and it's just got all these promises that are so good. It says, God is, is declaring, I was in you. Time and again throughout that scripture, it says, fear not. So I think that's a word for us is fear, fear not. It says, I am your God. I will strengthen. I will help you. I will uphold you. Uh, your enemies, here's a good one. Your enemies shall, shall literally be as nothing, as a non-existent thing. I, the Lord, your God, am holding your right hand. It says, I will hold, but I just sense the Lord said he is holding our, our right hand right now. And then it begins to say, I will make you into a threshing sledge with sharp teeth. So as we begin to pray, as we begin to speak the word over situations around us, God is enabling us, even like in Psalm 91. Remember, Psalm 91 talks about how the serpent will be crushed under our feet. So God is bringing his bride up into this place of knowing who we are. And we begin to speak and release what God is, what, what he's doing. And there, there's an authority that, that comes a uh, breaking that comes as we begin to to say what he's saying. So, Lord, I, I thank you for this grace. I thank you for what you're raising your church up into, God, through this season, Father, that as we abide in you, that we are coming into the secret place of, of knowing who we are, who who you are in us. And, Lord, I thank you that the, the resting place of your love is becoming the very source and roots of our life. So, Lord, we, we thank you for that. Here's a good one from Psalm 103. With my whole heart and my whole life and my innermost being, I bow in wonder and love before you, holy God. Yahweh, you are my soul celebration. How could I ever forget the miracles of kindness that you've done for me? 
you've kissed my heart with forgiveness in spite of all that I've done. And you've healed me inside and out from every disease. And you'd rescued me from the pit of destruction. You've saved my life. You've crowned me with love and mercy. And you satisfy my every desire with good things. You have supercharged my life so that I soar again like a flying eagle in the sky. You're a God who makes things right, giving justice to the defenseless. So, Mm -hmm. Father, we just thank you for the benefits. Uh, We forget not your benefits this morning. You've healed all our diseases, forgiven all our iniquity. You have crowned us with loving kindness. You have delivered us from destruction. You are all around us, God, and inside of us. Our strength is your strength. Our life is your life. Our peace is your peace. Our joy is your joy. So we lift up our heads this morning. We lift up our eyes this morning. God, and we just look right into your beautiful, wonderful face of Jesus. And we thank you, Father. If God is for us, who could stand against us? No one. So we, that's where we look this morning, God. We, God, we, we're not denying the facts, but we're exalting the truth that you are with us, that you are in us, that there's nothing bigger than you in this cosmos, Lord, that the, you have the whole world in your hand and that, God, the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof and all those who dwell therein. So we do speak rest, Lord, over our souls And we speak rest over our finances, Uh, God. I'm not sure how that works, but I'm just declaring rest over our finances this morning. That, God, you delight in the prosperity of your people, and we believe that. So we thank you this morning, God, that you have invited us into rest. You have said there is a rest for the people of God. And we say amen this morning together. We say amen. We lean in. We lean in and surrender all that we are to you. You're our God. You're our father. You're our healer. You're our deliverer. You are everything we ever need. And in you, we live and we move and we have our being. Amen. Amen. It's good to see uh, Stevie Stevie McKee from uh, Scotland joining us. And just want to congratulate Stevie on his new marriage. Uh, Stevie just got married. So that's yeah, congrats! Very, very cool. We love you. We love you, uh, Stevie, all the way from Seattle, and uh, and just believing for incredible things for you and your bride, and uh, and incredible things for you and your incredible country. So we love you, and we love we love Scotland. We know that God loves Scotland. Um. I say that because I'm 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 Scottish, so, yep, it's true. From the from the clan of William Wallace, that that's not actually true. I just made that up. But uh, the other day I was I was uh, I was jogging and, and praying and um and I felt like the Lord say that uh uh you know that that it's important that we don't necessarily get into a war posture, but that we remain in a posture of rejoicing. Um, knowing that he really has defeated sin, sickness, death, um, you know, like all, all of this has been has been defeated on the cross. He defeated all of these things. So at, for the righteous, that uh, uh, that 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 the war, um, you know, the war really is over. We don't really have to fight. We get to rejoice and we get to be heralds of the good news that Jesus has done it, done it all. And so I thought. Uh, we could pray in alignment with just Philippians 4, 4 this morning uh, to rejoice in the Lord always. And again, we say rejoice. Um, also, Psalm five eleven. But let all who take refuge be glad. Let them sing for joy. And may you shelter them that those who love your name may exalt in you. So, Father, I just thank you that you are our refuge place, that you are our hiding place, and that we don't have to war in this season. We can rejoice. We thank you, Lord, that on the cross you did it all, Uh, that on the cross you conquered sin, you conquered sickness, you conquered disease, you you conquered plagues, and, Lord, that you have given to us the keys to the kingdom. And so, Father, we thank you. Uh, for just a revelation 
of our uh, of our identity and our authority as sons in this season. And Father, I pray, Lord, that you would speak to us as to what our response, as to what our rejoicing, righteous response should look like on the earth. Father, I thank you, Lord, that you are going to begin giving us opportunities to righteously respond. In the in the Proverbs, it talks about it's the righteous that execute the justice of God. Uh, it's it's the Sadiq that, that execute the justice of God. So, Father, I pray that you begin to speak to us, that you begin to speak to the righteous, you begin to speak to those executors of justice in this season to show us what righteous judgment looks like coming from the house of God, coming from the people of God, that we would begin to... Um, to really begin to see a, a shalom begin to emerge in the midst of this chaos, uh, uh, and not because of the government, not because of quarantine, but we begin to see a supernatural shalom begin to emerge from the darkness, a light begin to emerge from the darkness because of the righteous. And Father, we thank you, Lord, for um, a righteous judgments coming from your sons and daughters of God. And so, Lord, we... We, we repent for any way that we have partnered with a spirit of defeat or, or soulish warfare. And we, just, we, we ascend over that place of praying from a place of angst. And we enter into the rest of God. And this morning we pray from a place of righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. We thank you, Father, that we may be quarantined in our homes and yet we are, we are in the kingdom. And Father, from that place of being in the kingdom, we can accomplish amazing things in the spirit that can translate into the natural. And Father, we, Lord, we, I thank you for the prayers of the righteous in this season, the rejoicing of the righteous in this season that is truly shifting and changing things even behind closed doors. And so Father, Lord, I just pray, Lord, um, for, uh, for a for a revival of new, fresh, revelatory intercession, that you would begin to open up new ways of praying, that we would, be, we would find ourselves praying in the Spirit in a new way, and it, would, and, it, and it would be something that we weren't trained in or taught in. It would be something that, like, that you would give to us, Father, a new gift of intercession, and it would, just, it would bubble out of us, Father. I pray for the kind of prayer that bubbles out of us, the kind of prophetic words that just bubble out of us, that it would just be, it would be so natural. It wouldn't be forced. It wouldn't be a place of, of striving. It wouldn't be a place of warring, but there would be a place of righteous, rejoicing intercession flowing from a place of intimacy and communion with the Father. Lord, I, I, Lord, I thank you, Lord, for that place of righteousness, peace, and joy that comes, that flows from that place of relationship that we have with you. And we just declare that we have relationship with our Father because of the beautiful Son, because of the blood, the life, the death, the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. And we just declare our authority as sons and daughters right now. We declare, we, we remind ourselves right now, we, we recall uh, who we are, who we are in Him, and whose we are. And we thank You, Lord, that we have authority. I think everyone watching this at home, you should just declare that over yourself right now. I have authority. And the reason why I think that that's important is because a lot of us, we feel like we've been robbed of all authority because, uh, because you can't even leave your house right now, right? The only reason why you can leave is to go to the groceries. Like, it just feels like we're on house arrest. And so there can be a, a subconscious defeater belief that says, in this time you have no authority, sit down, stay home, and shut up. And that is certainly not the truth, that you are still a son of God. You're still a daughter of the, of the Most High God, and you have incredible authority uh, in the spirit, and I believe that the Lord's going to begin giving us practical ways that we can begin to see His shalom begin to come up and out of us in this season. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Who wants to tap in? Yeah, Lord, I just uh, I thank you, God, for the creatives in this season. I thank you, God, for your poets for your worship leaders, for your authors, God, for, uh, for those who, um, who are receiving from heaven and building and creating something for the world to uh, marvel at. Lord, we thank you, God, that 
that you are are downloading um, just that piece that Pastor Darren was saying, Lord, that 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 place of, of creating and building, Lord. And there's going to be such a release, Lord. So we just thank you, God, for for the tapping in and for the releasing of of the voice of the kingdom or the voice of, of the body um, that that just is like a life preserver that is like a um, that is that is like a, a lifting up of the eyes to everyone who's who's overwhelmed in this season lord we just thank you god that there's there's such a, a release coming uh, so i just bless the creatives anyone even watching this now lord that, that they would um, that they would say yes to the passion in their heart uh, that the lord planted there that they would say yes to the um, to the ideas and and the and the what ifs and the dreaming um, that you're stirring in their heart, Lord. And I thank you, God, for uh, just the grace to um, to to weave together things uh, with you, Lord. That that there would be such a an amazing partnership um, created right now in this time, Lord. So we just thank you for what you're uh, doing through the poets, um, the 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 singers, the songwriters, the musicians, the composers right now. In Jesus name. How about uh, Psalm 117, just a short psalm, but it was in my devotion this morning, and I thought, you know, this is this is the first thing. Let everyone everywhere shine with praise to Yahweh. Let mm-hmm. it all out. Go ahead and praise him, for he has conquered us with his great love, and his kindness has melted our heart. His faithfulness lasts forever, and he will never fail you. So go ahead and let it all out. And praise Yah, oh Yah, and I just, just Lord, we just, we just enter your gates with thanksgiving and your courts with praise um, every day, Lord. Just finding you so new every morning, finding your mercies new for every single morning, Lord. No matter how we wake up, if we're heavy, or uh, if we're a little afraid or anything, we just run in to the mercies of God every morning. And Lord, you help us make good decisions for every day. You help us rise up in the morning. You give us a you give us a reason to praise you every day. And Lord, you've conquered our souls. And Lord, that's the most important thing of all, Lord, is that you have conquered our souls. So Lord, no matter what we walk through, now we have you to be thankful for because you did something for us that no one else could do. And Lord, we rest in your peace. We rest in your love. Uh, Lord, we don't walk in fear. We don't walk in anxiety in any way, shape, or form, Lord. But we walk in the love of Christ every single day of our lives. That, Lord, your love is so new. Your love is so fresh. Your goodness just goes on and on. And, Lord, we live under the blessings of God. And so, Lord, uh, during this time, as we talk with people on the phone, as we visit with people, as we Zoom with people, Lord, we just pray that the peace of God, that the love of the Father would just be felt everywhere, that your presence, Lord, even though we're not close to one another, but your presence uh, will be sensed everywhere we are, Lord, even as we sense your beautiful presence this morning on us as we pray. Lord, you're a good God. You're full of mercies. Mm -hmm. You're full of kindness every day. And, Lord, you have our best interests at your heart. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Open my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Father, we ask you for the spirit of revelation to be upon uh, your church, Lord. Yeah. We ask you, Jesus, you said that uh, that the revelation of who you are, thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. Upon that revelation, the gates of hell would not prevail. And so, Lord, lots of things are being done right now, but Lord, let us not miss the major thing that you're doing right now. Let us not miss the main thing, God, that you've given us. There is time here, Lord. There is time here to draw in closer. So we ask you, Father, for that spirit of revelation to be upon um, your people, God, in this hour. We ask you, God, for the spirit of wisdom and mm-hmm. understanding, Lord, that we would see you more clearly than we've ever seen you, that we would know you. Uh, Lord, we cast down all the old stuff, and Lord, we um, we just thank you for a new day. We thank you for a new revelation. We thank you for a new song 
as we just look right into your face. We ask you, mm -hmm. Jesus, we ask you, just reveal yourself. Reveal yourself. Let your glory, Lord, let your glory be revealed everywhere, Father. Let the knowledge of who you are, God. Uh, and some I've heard somebody say, you know, Preach the gospel and use words if you have to. And so, Lord, just let that let your shining ones rise in this hour. Mm -hmm. Let your those that are shining, those that are filled, Lord, those that are looking up, Lord, somehow release that light to the earth through your people in this hour. Release wisdom, release understanding and release knowledge. We ask you, Father, Lord, we just thank you for um, the beauty uh, the beauty of the bride coming together, God, the beauty of the bride rising up. We thank you, Father, for those people that have been shouting for years, come, let us go up to the mountain. And Lord, so we come up to the mountain. We come up to that place called Zion, Lord, where there's angels uh, dressed in festival robes, Lord, where the blood of Jesus speaks a better word, where God, mm -hmm. the judge of all is, where the where the church is, God, where the church, that let there be an understanding and emerging of, of the one church, the one true church, Lord, heaven and earth uh, merging together. So, Father, we thank you for opening up realms that our hearts have uh, so long desired for, that opening up our eyes that we can see the things, God, that our hearts have long desired for. You said, God, that if we delight ourselves in you, that you give us the desire of our heart. So in this hour, Lord, the desire of our heart is you, to know you, to see you, to feel you, to touch you. Lord, so we just thank you, Father, that we we just relive that place where that word became flesh and dwelt among us and we beheld his glory. So we just ask you, Father, for just a release of of the knowledge of the glory of the Lord that covers the earth already. Let that, Father, rise up in the earth in this hour. Let your people, God, arise and shine, for the, our light has come. Let our hearts be expanded with what we see, Father. And, Lord, we do celebrate you today. We celebrate the goodness of who you are. We celebrate uh, the kindness of who you are. We celebrate the new mercy that we uh, got up, the minute our feet hitched the floor this morning, mm -hmm. we were stepping in the new mercies of God for us. So we forget none of that stuff, Lord. We we just declare a celebration uh, into the hearts of your people. We declare mm -hmm. a celebration that God is good and his mercy endures forever. <laughs> yes, I just want to declare the scripture that says rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. Yeah. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. So thank you, Lord, for thank you for for this group of rejoicing ones. Yeah. And thank you for for that, that you are so good at sharing your joy. You're not stingy about sharing your joy. So, Lord, we step into that joy today. We step into who you are. We step into that joy that you you share with us what, what do you mean grant what do you mean how do we do that we you you just you just say lord help me to step into that joy that you have today that acceptance that that you have for me that favor that's on my life that peace that that mm -hmm. you share like a river Lord, we step into, into you, and we thank you that your door is wide open to receive us. Jesus. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. So Colossians 1.26 says, There is a divine mystery, a secret surprise that has been concealed from the world for generations, but now it's being revealed, unfolded and manifested for every holy believer to experience. Living within you is the Christ who floods you with the expectation of glory. This mystery of Christ embedded within us becomes a heavenly treasure chest of hope filled with the riches of glory for his people. And God wants everybody to know it. And then the verse we've been speaking at church and up until we were uh, 
shut in. It says, Christ is our message. We preach to awaken hearts and bring every person to the full understanding of truth. God, I thank you, God, for the revelation of sonship. Lord, I thank you the fact that you are in us and we are in you and that we can Amen. abide in that place regularly. Father, I pray for those watching, Father, that they would invite you to begin to speak identity as to who they are, who you are in them, Lord, and they would that hope would, would be birthed. God, if there's no hope, God, we, we release hope right now. We release hope, God. We release faith. Yeah. We, we, we declare eyes to see and ears to hear, Father. Like Grant was speaking, joy, God. I pray that the joy would be the fuel, the fire that burns. You know, Darren, we had that vision uh, a few weeks back of the lighthouse. Remember that? We were talking about the oil of joy, the oil of joy, Lord. And so I pray that the oil of joy would be poured out upon your people right now. Father, they, they would begin to no longer, God, entertain the lies of the enemy, but, Father, be intentional about choosing to meditate upon your word, your fresh manna, God, your fresh manna. In Jesus' name. Yes, yes. Um, that's so good, Corey. You know, when we first did our, our first uh, live stream prayer uh, three weeks ago, I think it was, um, you know, we prayed into this whole place of vaccinations and medications, but we also really prayed that this would be a, a time of recalibrating within um, the whole kind of uh, 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 medical breakthrough scene. And I thought, let's pray into that some more today. Uh, there's 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 a, a, a unity and a collaboration and, and communication that's taking place right now in the nations um, around vaccination and they are they are experimenting with drugs that have already been approved that have already been tested um uh that 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 have already, you know uh, and so that they don't have to go through another whole year uh to find out how how efficacious something is and uh, again the, just this morning uh an article came out about about something that the FDA is looking at approving where it's it's it, I don't like the name of it it's called an NK a natural killer but what it, it they've been using it for people with cancer for quite a long time and there's no side effects to it and they realize for people with very extreme uh, uh, coronavirus cases where it's where it's attacking their organs they're able to give them this and it's and it's helping fight off the virus so that it can't attack the organs and they were talking about um, the possibility of in a year from now being able to get this over the counter. So that no matter what the what strain of whatever is coming out, and so um, I just I really believe that there's going to be some radical breakthroughs, some radical yeah. medical breakthroughs in this time. Things that we stumble on by accident that are going to bring cures to other things, and so that's how I've really been praying. I thought let's really pray into that. Yes, let's pray for into this whole thing of you know uh, uh, vaccination and cures and in different things, but also let's believe that this will be a time where we take like a quantum leap <laughs> where like this yeah. catapults us into the future with medical breakthroughs in all kinds of areas. So father, I thank you for the opportunity, opportunity, opportunity that's available right now as nations communicate and collaborate in order to see a breakthrough in this, um, in this COVID-19 and Lord, I pray God for your hand to come upon uh, scientists, Lord, your your hand to come upon those who are studying these these different things, especially those who are in the kingdom. God, I ask, Father, for such revelation for those who are in the kingdom that are in these spheres of influence. And Father, we ask, Lord, for for great breakthrough medications that don't have all the side effects, that don't have all the and it would come, Lord, I pray, Lord, that because it's coming, Lord, I pray, Lord, Lord, let it be, Lord, let it come from kingdom-minded people whose hearts are pure, where they're not willing to bury all the side effects in order to get a little bit of blessing. Lord, I pray, Lord, that there would be pure cures that you release through your, uh, through your people in this time. And Lord, and, the, and, uh, and Father, we, Lord, I, I pray even for, um, even for young people that are in the industry that don't even have a name or a reputation yet. I pray for even like David's and Joseph's 
and Daniels that are in this industry that uh, that, ha- that 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 don't have the reputation in God that you would bring an elevation to those without reputation because 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 they know you and you know them Lord we we will we pray breakthrough 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 and thought Lord I even pray that you would use in the same way that you uh, speak to Richard Gordon through through an angel to bring re- uh, to bring breakthrough in communications Father release your angels to bring revelation release your your revelatory scrolls to those who are in the pharmaceutical industry and God I, Lord I pray Lord for a wave a fresh wave and 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 it, we, and we repent for any ways that we have word cursed this we know that that, that, that there've been negative stuff that have come out of the pharmaceutical industry but, but Lord Lord we Lord we say Lord our hearts are open father and Lord we Lord we declare great favor and breakthrough Lord, for those who are in that scene, whose hearts are pure, God, I pray, Lord, that you would release pure cures, not just to COVID-19, but to cancer, Lord, and to, uh, and to um, cognitive, uh, you know, to uh, dementia I- issues. And, um, uh, uh, and, 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 the, and Lord, we just thank you, Father, for breakthrough in this season, Father. We thank you, Lord. For, uh, uh, for revelation and elevation for those who are hid and, Lord, whose hearts are pure. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Yeah, we agree, God. We agree. We thank you, Father, for an accelerated time in the earth, God, an accelerated time over in the medical field, God. We thank you, Father, for things that have uh, been concealed. We just... Uh, Declare now a, a revealing, Father, a revealing of of plants and and things that you've already put in the earth, God. The things that you the things you've already done, Lord. Uh, like Bobby said, the the things that I remember Bobby Connor saying there are things being done now, and there's a better way to do those things. And so we just tap into that word. We agree with that prophet, Lord, that you'll bring about a better way. You'll bring about the th- the uh, understanding, Father, of and you'll bring about life with it, God. You'll bring about life. We do bless, Lord, the unity right now that is uh, the, the true unity that is in the medical field, God, with uh, every country, all scientists and doctors coming together for with one purpose, with one heart, and that's to bring healing to mankind. And God, that is the intent of your heart. That is the, the place of your heart. So we come into agreement with that, Lord. And you said, Lord, where there's unity, there's a blessing, which is life. And so we thank you, Father, for life in the medical community. And even those, God, uh, we just pray protection over those, God, that are dealing with even the sick right now, God, for even for purposes of research. God, we pray protection. We pray life uh, round about them, God. We thank you, Father, for supernatural strength and bravery and courage we bless the courage of those doctors and the scientists right now lord that are coming together for one purpose and that is to help mankind and so lord we we thank you for that we declare that acceleration and we declare solutions we declare solutions uh coming to the medical field lord let your light hit let your light hit all those solutions Father, and we just thank you for a, a quick uh, discovery. We thank you for quick resco- discoveries in Jesus' name. Hey, Darren, when you were praying, and Sandy, when you were praying, I just felt like what you were praying was the vengeance of the Lord on this attack of the enemy on this pandemic. And so I just want to, that, that would be a great vengeance to have all of these breakthroughs happen. I mean, that's what God does with his vengeance. So, Lord, we just declare your vengeance uh, on this pandemic. We declare the vengeance of the Lord on this pandemic. And, Lord, we do agree that you will open up all kinds of avenues of, of new discoveries, of new uh new openings of simple ways that sometimes we never even thought of, Lord. But as all this is going into this uh, studies and these experiments and all these things, Lord, we just uh, we just know that you've got an easy answer, Lord. And so we pray the vengeance of the Lord yes. over this pandemic and that we would see what you think of this pandemic, Lord. 
We would see what you think of it. And the whole world would see what you think of it. Lord, the pandemic is flooding the world. But, Lord, you said your glory, (laughs) the knowledge of the glory of the Lord would flood the world. So, Lord, we pray that for the vengeance of the Lord, that the knowledge of the glory of the Lord would cover the earth. Come on. Amen. Amen. (laughs) And it was good to see... um, Bonnie Shavda jumping in there in the comments. Love you, Bonnie and Pastor Bonnie and Pastor Mahesh. Love you guys. And we're praying for you in All Nations Church and just believing for uh, courage and creativity and opportunity for you guys. Not sure if you're still there or not, but saw you jump on and we sure love Pastor Bonnie and Pastor, Pastor Mahesh. Anthony, were you about to jump in there? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I... Uh... <laughs> No, no, no. Um, I just uh, wanted to come off of that word with uh, that Pastor Gail was releasing. It reminded me of the scripture, 1 John 3, 8. It says, the one who does what is sinful is of the devil because the devil has been sinning from the beginning. The reason the Son of God appeared was to destroy the works of the devil. And so <clears throat> so I just agree with that word. And Lord, I thank you, God, that uh, that you are not only destroying the work of coronavirus, but you are dismantling and destroying all of these other works, God. I thank you, God, for um, for all of the things that we've highlighted, even in this prayer time, whether it's uh, sickness or disease or even just uh, mindsets that have been uh, present throughout the world. We thank you, God, that you are dismantling, Lord, that your wave is coming to not only wipe out coronavirus, but it's coming to bring healing to all areas where the enemy's been bringing darkness and bringing uh, his works to uh, to dismantle uh, humanity. And Lord, we thank you, God, that you are edifying and building up and wiping out the enemy in every area. Lord, we just thank you, God, for your eradicating of darkness out of out of our lives, God, out of um, out of the things that have been comfortable or tolerated, Lord. We thank you, God, that you're shaking that loose now in this season. And there's going to be such a fruitfulness that's going to come from it. And so, Lord, we thank you, God. We just put our trust in you. We say we put our trust, our total trust in you and in your solution that you come and you dismantle darkness because you are the righteous king. That is why you came, Lord. Thank you, God. Amen. Amen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just a quick word uh, to to go off of what Anthony was praying is uh, I just had this sense that in America we we're like the pioneers we're we're we just know how to handle things and we we jump in there and and fix things but maybe this is a time where we just say Lord. We can't fix this. We we need heaven's resources. We need we need God to come through and we repent of being self-sufficient and and looking to ourselves for the answer. We we need you God. We we need your help. We need angelic visitations. We need the wisdom from heaven to to just cover us right now. In Jesus' name. Pastor Keith, do you want to jump in there? (laughs) I just wanted to make sure that... Put you on the spot. Sorry, just trying to get my microphone unmuted here. You're good, you're good. The, the scripture that comes to mind is Jesus said, peace, I lay with you, my peace I give to you, not as the world gives, give I unto you. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. And we just uh, speak the peace and shalom of Jesus over all those who are fearful in this time, in Jesus' name. And we just uh, speak your peace for them, Lord, that they would just be able to enter into that rest of, that you have for them. Give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You know, I I think it'd be good. This is kind of an intense thing to to end on. 
Um, but there's been a lot of stuff stirring in the headlines regarding what's happening in the nations. And I thought it'd be really good for us just to, just to pray for peace in the nations and especially that there would be no exploitation, uh, that, 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 that nations would not be leveraging, um, the chaos right now as an opportunity to, you know, uh, there was, a, a, a tweet yesterday that president Trump released warning Iran if they fire on our troops in Iraq, that 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 there would that they would pay for that greatly, um, and I just thought, man, it'd be it's it's just like the enemy. He always comes to he always come, he always attacks us when we're already down. <laughs> you know, the enemy doesn't attack strong strong lions. Right. He waits for he waits for lions that are wounded, and then he comes in. and And I just thought, hey, let's let's really let's really pray for um, that 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 the Lord would bring. Um, such that there would be anything hidden would be exposed and that there would be no opportunity for exploitation in the middle of this of in the middle of the confusion and the uh and this this different stuff that's taking place so so father i just thank you father for peace and we declare your peace in the nations we declare your shalom in the nations and father i pray for conviction of sin in in the hearts of even compromised leaders, Lord, that, that Holy Spirit, that you would come and that you would convict leaders of, of the bent in their heart that would like to use this as an opportunity to exploit a crisis in order to, um, to, uh, uh, in order to um, cripple another nation for their own exaltation. And that's it's such a form of, uh, it's such an evil uh, form of manipulation to exploit somebody else's pain um, in order for in order to exalt yourself. And so, Father, we ask for great wisdom for President Trump today. We ask for great peace for President yeah. Trump today. We ask that for all of our leaders. While we're praying, Lord, we also just lift up Governor Inslee today and his wife and his family. Yeah. And we bless Governor yeah. Inslee and his wife and his family, Lord. Yeah. And Lord, we pray for peace and wisdom for him. But Lord, we ask, Lord, even for those at the Pentagon, those in the CIA, Lord, we ask, Father, for supernatural discernment, for ears to mm-hmm. hear behind all the chatter, uh, to be able to hone in through all the chaos, to really see what's mm-hmm. happening. Lord, we ask that no evil would 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 be able to be plotted in the secret place but lord that you would you would um uh that you would uncover any any and all plots of the enemy to use this crisis as an opportunity to leverage the pain of nations for the exaltation of other nations and god we just we just ask father for protection for, for the nations. We ask for protection for our troops today, for protection for our troops today who, yeah. who are who are yeah. in, I, in Iraq today, Father. And Lord, we ask for protection for all those who are on the front lines in this COVID-19 crisis, for the nurses, the doctors, for the National Guard uh, that have been brought in. We ask, Father, for supernatural protection, God, in Jesus' name. Yes, yes. Yeah, Yeah, Father, we just declare over the nations the perfect love of a father. And we thank you, Lord, that perfect love casts out fear. Father, we just ask you, we come in agreement, we ask you, Lord, that you would just strip away the authority um, that this thing has for chaos and um, disruption, Father, in the earth. We thank you, Lord. We declare that shalom of God. No anarchy, no chaos, nothing broken, nothing missing. We thank you, Father, for peace like a river that surpasses all understanding, guards the heart and the mind, especially over the leaders, Lord, of the nations, over those making decisions. We thank you, Father, that nothing is hidden in your sight. So, again, we agree, Lord, that you would reveal the things uh, that need to be revealed, that you would uncover the things that... Uh, that would be helpful, God, that are in your heart, that, uh, Lord, any man's hand, Lord, that you would remove the hand of man and the voice, the voice, Father, that the voice of chaos or destruction uh, would be silenced in the name of Jesus. We thank you for that, Father, that your voice, God, thunders over the waters, over the waters of the nations and 
And the, the waters, Father, are responding to the sound of your voice. We thank you, Father. Your voice was the first voice. We bring, we just bring ourselves, Lord, all. We just let the whole earth come under that first voice sound, that first voice that, that uh, loved us, that first voice that created us, that first voice that formed us. We thank you, Father, that that voice reigns supreme in all the earth. And so, Lord, we bless the leaders, God, that are looking to you, that are crying out to you. We bless them, Father. We bless them with strength and supernatural rest. And, and we thank you for that courage. And we declare grace, grace, grace in this hour in Jesus' name. Father, if there are any nations that are w w with malintent, Father, as you did throughout the Old Testament time and time and time again, Lord, I pray that you would cause confusion within the enemy's camp, or that you would just simply cause confusion, Father, that, that, that the plans would be canceled, uh, they would not come to pass. In Jesus' name, we just release that right now in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you that you are causing uh, wisdom and understanding amongst amongst your world leaders, Father. We, we just ask that you would that you would pour out, Father, around Trump, around Putin, around all the leaders throughout every nation, Father, that you would uh, that you would begin to speak and reveal yourself and plans. In Jesus' name. Yes, yes. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, Lord, we just pray today that the fear of the Lord would just be on any enemy that has uh, any heart to do evil on anyone, yeah. any compromised mm -hmm. leader, anyone. Lord, we just pray that the fear of God would be, be all around them. That, Lord, they would know that this is not the time to mess around. Yep. And, Father, we, we thank you that many, many, many of these leaders uh, will have their hearts softened during this time. We'll have, um, yeah. we'll have new insight into who you are. And, Lord, they have a new appreciation uh, for the high God of heaven. Yes. Yeah. yeah. We, we, just, we just know you're doing something. And uh, uh, we're going to probably be ourselves surprised and amazed at how you work in this, Lord. But we love watching you work. We love what you do. And, love, Lord, we love partnering with you to bring to pass your dream, your heart, your plan for all the nations of the earth, that every one of them would honor you. Every one of them would give you praise because we know that one day every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus right. Christ is Lord. That's right. Yeah, God. And I thank you, Lord, that, uh, that in the same sense, <clears throat> in all of our lives, there's points where everything changes and nothing is the same. I thank you, God, that there is a new epoch, that we are stepping into a new era, a new epoch where the world will acknowledge your glory, God, will acknowledge your goodness and will will not be able to uh, uh, not acknowledge uh, who you are, God, that there would be such a shift um, in in the honor and the fear of the Lord uh, towards you, God, that, that there would be uh, nothing would be the same again, God. We thank you, God, for uh, for for so many souls coming to you in this season, God, that, that there would be such a returning to you because life is not the same anymore. And I thank you, God, that for all of the areas where, um, where vision has been clouded or um, covered, God, I thank you that you're taking away the veil, you're removing it so that the whole world can repent and turn to you. And invite you into all of the different world systems, into all of the things uh, that that are built right now, that you would be invited in because uh, nothing is the same. That we are all crossing over to that place of uh, of trusting in you and heralding your name, God, over the earth, Lord. Thank you, God. Pretty cool, uh, Pastor Bonnie uh, on in the comments uh, said uh, Vice President Pence on the call this morning said we hold our future in our hands, speaking directly to Christian leaders and our church communities with deep gratitude for our encouragement, prayers, and support. Isn't that awesome? I, I, yeah. I, I, I think that's yeah. I think that's so neat. It's, we also have um, 
uh, uh, entrepreneurs in our church here at Seattle Revival Center that are going to be on a call with uh, with president with Vice President Pence um, sometime today, where they are going to get to uh, share with him their perspective as small business owners what it's like going through this crisis right now, um, and uh, so that's that's a pretty cool opportunity for. Uh, uh, for these people in our church, really, really, really proud of them. And they texted us this morning, said they were going to get to chat with uh, Vice President Pence this morning and talk about small small businesses and and uh, and and that. So, yeah. So in the middle of of this crisis, there is incredible opportunity, opportunity, opportunity. And for everybody watching, we uh, just want to say to all of our tribe at Seattle Revival Center. Uh, we love you. We miss you. Uh, miss seeing you on Sundays. Uh, miss only seeing you on social social media. Uh, love all the emails uh, th- them getting from you, text messages, and, and we cannot wait. Uh, we are preparing for the day when all of these um, bans get lifted and we will get to be together soon. Uh, we believe that we're going to have one of the craziest parties on this side of heaven, it's going to be like it's going to be better than any New Year's we've ever had. Uh, knowing that we all have a fresh gratitude for the freedom to gather, that perhaps we've never had this kind of uh, this kind of um, recalibration uh, in any in any time of our, in, our, in our lives before. Um, and so, uh, yeah. So it's it's so just know this, everyone at Sarah Valley Center, we love you. Uh, thank you so much for your prayers, your prayers for the church. Thank you so much for your generosity. Um, it's been incredible what the Lord has been able to do uh, through His people just through this this incredible time. Um, also, for everybody else uh, outside of the Seattle area, or uh, uh, maybe you watch our our stuff, but you're not in your you're in the region, but not a part of SRC. Just want to thank you as well uh, for for all the people that are friends of SRC but aren't ne- aren't necessarily a part of our church community. Thank you as well. Uh, the the emails, the text messages, the comments have been so positive. They've been, just been so incredibly positive. Um, in fact, we've uh, mentioned this yesterday on a on a on a thing that we did online. But we've literally seen um, giving uh, from all over the nation. Uh, people uh, giving to the work here in Seattle, sending in notes and messages, thanking us for what we're doing. And so I just want to say thank you just to the body of Christ throughout the U.S. that believes in what we're doing here in Seattle, that, that, that has been partnering um, and um, with what we're doing in Seattle. I know that we don't even know a lot of you personally, and yet believe that we will get the opportunity to somehow connect, connect with you. Uh, we're going to be intentional to, to try to build a relationship uh, with, with you but I just wanted to end this this uh, this prayer time with just a big thank you, with the big God bless you, and just for for everyone that knows, we love you and we're praying for you. In fact, let's just let's just end this prayer time just by doing a special blessing for everybody that actually engages uh, with this particular prayer cast. So, Father, I thank you uh, for your hand and hedge yeah. of protection, Lord, your hand of blessing. And Lord, I pray, Father, that even right now there would be a fresh confidence and a fresh, fresh faith. Lord, I pray, Lord, that you would give each and every one watching right now, give them today their daily bread. I declare daily bread right now for every person watching. I I declare a download of today's bread, of today's revelation, and it would be everything that you need to sustain you today. I pray that you would know that you would experience the love that can only come from a Father God. I pray that you would experience the joy that can only come from this love, that, that from this love that would come from a Father. I pray for ex- experience today. I pray for encounter today. I pray for just a deep knowing, a deep internal knowing from, the, from, the, from, the, from your innermost place that you are loved, that you are precious, that you are valuable, and that God has plans to prosper you and to protect you, that he knows the plans he has for you, not to harm you, but to give you a future and a hope. And I just declare that over each and every person watching right now. You have a future, you have a hope, because you have an awesome daddy in heaven who really, really loves you. That's that's absolutely true. God loves you and we love you here in Seattle. And we're just, 
we're just hanging tight until this whole thing is over. And then uh, uh, we're all right now figuring out ways to take over the earth while stuck at home. <laughs> <laughs> Love you guys. Join us every Thursday here online for prayer. And we'll be back on Sunday morning for our Sunday morning service. Corey, thank you. And Grant, thank you. Uh, thank you so much, yeah. Sandy, Keith, Gail, Anthony. Anthony's frozen. Anthony's trancing out right now. Wah, 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 wah. He's in the third heaven. And anyways, so God bless you guys. And we'll see you real soon. Stay healthy. Stay blessed. Love you guys. Bye-bye.